Welcome to this module of Professor Messer's CompTIA Network Plus Certification Training Course. I'm James Messer, and this module is our introductory module. We're going to go through some topics that are overview of the CompTIA Network Plus Certification. We're going to learn a little bit about the Professor Messer Network Plus course. We'll find out who this guy might be, this Professor Messer we're talking about. And we'll talk about a few best practices you should keep in mind when you get ready to take your Network Plus exam. CompTIA stands for the Computing Technology Industry Association, and it's an organization that focuses on providing certifications and training for people in the IT industry. This was created because individual companies didn't want to have to maintain their own certification, and CompTIA grew from there. So members of CompTIA might be IT resellers, distributors, manufacturers, training centers, and many other types of organizations. It is very vendor neutral, which means once you get a CompTIA certification, it's one that can apply across many, many different types of companies, many, many different types of equipment. It's one that once you have a Network Plus certification, then you are certified and understand the basic foundation of many, many different manufacturers networking products. The current version is 2009. It is called N10-004. The N10-004 is the latest version that came right after N10-003. And you can expect that CompTIA will be updating the Network Plus certification every few years to stay current. The Network Plus exam only requires that you take a single test and pass it to have your certification. So it's a little bit different, for instance, than the A Plus exam, which requires that you take and pass two exams. For Network Plus, you only have to take one. There are 100 questions on the exam, and you have 90 minutes to take the exam from the time that you start. This is a multiple choice exam with the type of conventional testing you would expect. Choose A, B, C, or D, for instance, to answer a question. The score that you're looking for is a 720. The score is somewhere between 100 and 900. It's odd scoring system, if you think about it. It's not a percentage. Each question is worth a different amount. So whether you take it and, and you get that question right or you get that question wrong, it may be counted differently. So every question has a different weighting associated with it. Ultimately, you have to get at least 720 of those points to pass the exam. And if it's not something that you are comfortable with in English, there are other versions of the exam available. Before you sit down and take the exam, CompTIA recommends that you at least have nine months of experience in doing some type of networking. And they also suggest that you have a CompTIA a certification under your belt. Now, you don't have to have these particular certifications, but it may take you a little bit longer to get this information. It may take a little bit longer to study. And perhaps if you don't have any experience in networking, you'll want to spend a lot more time prior to going in and taking your certification. One of the advantages of having a Network Plus certification, it is a well-known and well-respected certification in the industry. If you ask employers the type of exams and the type of certifications they're looking for, they often mention the CompTIA Network Plus exam. If you're starting off in networking and you have a direction towards doing something in security or doing something in routing or switching, the Network Plus exam is a very, very good place to start. In fact, many of the Microsoft certifications will accept the Network Plus certification towards those particular requirements for their certs. So sometimes taking your Network Plus gets you a little bit farther ahead with another manufacturer's certification requirements. But again, it's not about just having the certification. The certification is your starting point. It's what you do with this certification once you have it that makes all the difference. There are six topics of study on the Network Plus certification, these domains as we call them. The first one, Network Technologies, is 20% of the exam. Network Media and Topologies, Network Devices, Network Management, Network Tools, and Network Security round out all six of those different domains. And notice they have different percentage of coverages. For instance, the Network Security is only 11% of the exam. That doesn't mean that you should ignore it completely, but keep in mind, mind when you're studying that you may want to study more on network technologies and network media and topologies because both of those consist of 20% of the coverage for that exam. 
when we created this certification training and put these videos out on the internet for everyone to see, we tried to make them into these smaller bite-sized chunks. I hate to sit down on a video, especially a training video, and sit there for 60 or 90 minutes to grasp that. So I wanted to make these little knowledge chunks that you could go grab that information, learn about a topic, and then you're off to the next one. And of course, everything, as long as you watch it online, is absolutely free. This is something that's a little bit unique. People aren't accustomed to seeing entire training courses for free on the internet. But it's something a little bit different that we're doing. And because we have all of these streaming technologies and the ability to put this information out there and communicate to so many people, we thought it'd be a good thing to try. We noticed also that there are some commercial training videos that perhaps were lacking in certain areas. So we want to not only provide you with free training, but we hope that it is something that you find to be a very high quality training as well. As the instructor of this course, I wanted to be sure that I had the experience behind me. And I've done so many different things in IT, everything from managing supercomputers to working on networks to working in network security and operating systems, something that I hope I can bring some of that knowledge into the videos and help you get your certifications as well. I've also authored a book, The Secrets of Network Cartography, A Comprehensive Guide to NMAP. And there's also a companion video-based training course called NMAP Secrets secrets that goes with that. And I do have these certifications. I'm Network Plus certified, I'm A Plus certified, and I'm Security Plus certified, among others. And hopefully, I can bring some of that also into the courses to help you know a little bit better what you can expect when you go to sit for your exam. And when you go to sit for your exam, one of the most important things you should keep in mind, especially for the Network Plus exam, which has 100 questions in 90 minutes, is just relax. If there are ever a time when you're sitting in a testing center, though, and this is not a place where you can relax, there's noise outside, perhaps it's too hot or too cold, make sure you tell the testing center immediately. Do not wait until the end of your exam to let them know what's going on. Time management is also extremely important on this exam. There is a mark button on every question. And if you get hung up on a question or you don't feel you really had time to really think about that question, put a mark next to it. You can always come back to all of your marked questions right to that specific question to really look at it if you have some time left over at the end of the exam. Check your entire exam. You can, of course, go through every question before you finally hit that Submit button and submit that test for grading. And at the end of it, you'll find out immediately if you passed or not. And if you didn't pass, don't worry too much about that. You will get a document at the end that certifies your results that will at least tell you how much from each particular domain you got right and you got wrong. You have the ability to retake the test immediately. You can sign up again and take that test at the next available testing slot. But if you fail twice in a row, you have to wait at least 14 days before you can take that test the third time. So now you should be ready to go and get your Network Plus certification. And of course, at ProfessorMesser.com, we have the entire library of Network Plus certification videos. They are categorized. They are indexed. You can find exactly what you're looking for. And of course, a place to converse and leave comments on every single video. There's also a companion study guide. If you go to ProfessorMesser.com slash GTS Learning, I've partnered with GTS Learning. Their particular courseware is CompTIA certified. You don't find that everywhere. And lastly, on ProfessorMesser.com, we have message boards. We have a community. We have real-time chat at the bottom of every page on our website. It's more than just you trying to get an exam. It's all of us working together to try to do the best we can to help you along the way. Thanks for watching this overview. We hope you now have everything you need to be able to go out and tackle that Network Plus exam. Good studies, and we'll see you on our website at ProfessorMesser.com.